Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to The Walking Dead. Let's play. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So... Nothing for us to do, but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's Euchre? Fun. I've never heard of that. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, you doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Those are good things. Those are good Better times. Tones. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us, together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. <laughs> Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. No shit. He like likes her. You get it? Um. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? They can totally hear you. <laughs> like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. <laughs> when I was his age and I liked the girl, I was a fucking wreck. Sweaty palms and stomach aches. Boners behind math books. <laughs> Every time we knew. See, hell on earth. Boners behind math books. It's unfair. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood. You know. I wish I could have given them that. Him and. Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Like you did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. That counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time. That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. People need me. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments. You and I. Oh, shit. And... They're always a little hot uh, and oh. a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know oh. whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David uh, is back in our lives mm -hmm. now makes this whole thing a little more complicated yeah but yeah it kind of does way, uh, i'd really like to know before things get crazy uh, you might not get another chance you know what realistically no pressure or anything, i could never right? be with someone who was with my brother well, i just couldn't do it maybe i should have stayed quiet i'm sorry kate I... oh god i just can't see it between us so all those times you said stuff i was just imagining it 
years together on the road. I never meant to hurt you. Uh, the looks, I, the hints of something I won't more. do that to David. You're saying none of that meant what I thought it did. David's not just some guy in our lives. He's my brother. I don't see him being okay with this ever. I can't do that to him. Of course not. I... So, you're saying you do feel something. It doesn't matter, Kate. It can't go anywhere. That's... Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to say. I knew you didn't feel the same way. God knows I pushed you a couple times, but... You always said no. I guess I have to finally listen. Javi, it's an execution over you. What? She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crew. Oh, fuck. Oh god. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We got to get over there now. Oh god. Uh, I, yeah, that's actually kind of, kind of exactly what I wanted to, to get across to her. It's just like you know what, it maybe if it would Keep the if it wasn't my brother, by. maybe. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. But otherwise, no. Then you can drive into the square and pick us up. I'll give you space. Please come with us. You sure I can't convince you to come along? You can't. Just stay out of sight. We'll be in touch as soon as we can. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Yeah, me too. This doesn't feel good. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not going to know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. We're gonna get him. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. Also, I have a Twitch channel if you want to see me play live. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.